Hey guys, good morning. Another day of Vlogmas. So right now I'm about to make some breakfast for my husband and myself. I'm gonna make like a little Central American breakfast. So it's just pretty much like bolillos. I don't know what it would be in English. What would they be in English? Like French bread? It's not French bread. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know, we call it pan frances. We don't even call it bolillos. Yeah, like bolillo rolls. Bolillo rolls, I don't know. With beans, eggs, I won't be having the eggs because I can't stand eggs. Sour cream and sometimes cheese, but we don't have the cheese that I would want to use, which is like the Salvadorian cheese. So, and yeah, that's pretty much it, but it's really good. So I realized my video went up yesterday, my flight attendant shoes video, and I didn't notice up until it was already uploaded in live that it was out of focus the entire time I was focusing on one of the stockings. I'm still trying to figure out the settings on this camera and it's, I think I had them figured out but I think my son was playing with my camera so I'm not sure what he did. He likes to pretend he has a YouTube channel so I'm not sure if he touched it or something. So yeah, I'm still working on it so sorry it was out of focus. So I'm just gonna use these beans. They're Ducal, they're like Guatemalan. And my husband's Guatemalan, so we just like to use these. And they're already like just refried, and I'm just gonna put them in the little pot over there with a little bit of water and just let them cook for a little bit. And then I'm gonna put these uh, bread, this bread, I'm gonna put it in the little toaster over there, little toaster oven, just to make them toasted. And then I'm just gonna make the eggs. I'm just asking George to do the eggs because I can't, I can't do the egg. I just can't. They gross me out. <laughs> Where is she? Do not have my permission to post this <laughs> online. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't need your permission. You only show things that make me look good. <laughs> okay, so I decided to make a smoothie just because I don't think I'm going to get full with just one little sandwich over there. So I'm going to just, huh? You want two? No, it's not one. Alright. Don't say I never did that to pay. Some of this fest festival blend. So it has mango, papaya, strawberries, and pineapple. I got this big bag at Costco for like $8, I think. So it wasn't too bad. Then I'm going to add some chia seeds and then this raw organic meal uh, i haven't had this ever since i got pregnant i wasn't a fan of it i only have a little bit left but we'll see if i can take it now that i'm pregnant like if i can you know taste taste it good and stuff um and then i'm gonna put some flaxseed a banana and then some milk i normally do almond milk but for some reason just regular milk whole milk just tastes so much better to me now so Finally was able to get on their live. Actually, I've been, I haven't been getting the notifications. Oh, hey guys, good morning. I think it's day 14th of Vlogmas. Yeah, day 14th of Vlogmas, and I am getting ready to leave to go check on Baby P. George is coming with me, and we have a very busy morning today. So we're gonna go to the doctor first, and then we're going to see how that works out, and then. You know, 
we'll see if we still continue with this doctor or not. Hopefully everything goes okay. And she listens to my needs. But we're running a little late, so we have to go. Okay, so we just left the appointment. Everything was good with baby P. We heard the heartbeat. We didn't get an ultrasound. We won't get an ultrasound until 20 weeks. So that's still about eight weeks away. And, oh yeah, it's an old lady. <laughs> Um, so it's still about eight weeks away and everything was good I just talked to my doctor about like my symptoms and stuff and it seems like everything's gonna be okay I know I had talked about maybe you know possibly switching doctors but I, f I feel like everything's going to be okay as of now it's never too late to change doctors in my opinion so yeah George with me Are you excited to see baby P <laughs> you are not allowed to record me without my permission. His little disclosure. <laughs> so, okay, so I was looking at like all these gender predictions online, and you know, the, we were doing like the ring thing. The ring thing doesn't even work for me, I guess. Um, and it went side to side. It, okay, see, in, in my, he says side to side, which is boy, and I saw circles which is a girl, but I was doing research and it said that there's no mass science proof or whatever that that's what predicts the gender. But they do say that heartbeats are a little bit more accurate. So baby P's heart rate Ooh. was like in the 150s. So let me know what you guys think. I'll start taking predictions now and we'll see. We'll find out in like eight weeks, but still, we'll see. So now we're gonna go to the VA um, as you guys know my husband was in the military so he just has a VA appointment and after that we have to go do something else it's a big day it's a long day all right so we just made it to the VA my hair is not cooperating today I've, I it's just it's not gonna look good today which is not good because after the VA my husband has a ceremony that he has to go to for school. It's for uh, the veterans that are graduating. So I guess they're doing something special for them. So yeah, he's been uh, on top of everything that he does for us, like to provide for us. He has been going to school for the last four years using the GI Bill. And I'm just so proud of him because it's hard. It's hard to, you know, still provide for your family, be a husband, be a dad. And it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for him. I'm so, so grateful for him. And yeah, he's going to the VA right now and getting that appointment out of the way. And then we're going to go over to his school. And then he graduates on Saturday. And that's when we're going to have like the actual, like, or he's gonna have the actual graduating graduation ceremony, but today's just the one for veterans. So yeah, I'm feeling terrible guys. I can't even tell you how bad I'm feeling. Um the headaches have started. I remember having them with my son when I was pregnant with him, and I think it's like a second trimester thing that it's you're supposed to get them, and I just woke up with one and it just hasn't gone away. I feel really nauseous and uh, it's been bad. So one of the reasons why I thought I wanted to switch doctors was because she won't really back me up as far as getting me the FMLA and she almost kind of giggles when I tell her how sick I feel and it's like, oh, don't worry, it'll get better. And it's like, I know, but you know, I'm not expecting like sympathy or anything, but just like, I don't want to be taken like if it's a joke do you know what I mean and it, I, that's how I was kind of that's what I was feeling from her or sensing from her but today I felt a little bit better she I feel like she's always trying to prescribe me medication and it's like no I don't want medication so today I was very firm and I said listen I don't want medication I want to go as natural as possible and I mean obviously if I can't go as natural as possible then I won't but I, I want to try so she seems supportive she's like okay so we will we won't we won't give you any more medication just keep doing the natural remedies I've been doing a lot of natural remedies and you know they seem to kind of work but they only work for like the moment you know and rest is really all that works for me I've tried everything that you guys have suggested 
um, I've tried whatever I've, I've read online, you know, old old wives tales, all those things, I've tried them and they just, they don't work for me. They only work for like a, a few minutes and then it goes, it comes back. So yeah, um, I haven't gained any weight, which is good because I don't want to gain as much weight during this pregnancy. My max is gonna be about 20, 20 pounds. That's all I want to gain and I hope I'm able to stick to it. I mean, we can all just hope and say we want to do things and it might not work out. Ugh, this headache is killing me. So I'm gonna have some Tylenol. Don't worry, she said I can have Tylenol. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take that and hopefully that helps. Business casual. Stop by Trader Joe's real quick. Oh, thank you. What do I drink? Look. How much it may storm. Huh? Yeah, grab. Okay, so I tried these bars when I was in LA. They taste just like a glazed donut. So good. So I'm gonna see if they have them on Amazon because they're two dollars per bar. So they're a little pricey. It's cheaper here than Amazon. Cheaper on here than Amazon? Yeah. It costs like two or nine. Oh wow. Do we have pesto at home? No home. I like this pesto better. This is the pesto I like. But huh? Oh yeah, that one. How's my battery dying already? We're we buying one or two? This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the movie Final Destination? Yeah. With their logs though, right? That's scary. I think I'm literally the only Hispanic that doesn't like bachata. I cringe when I hear this music. Can't so I finally got my KO polish nail. I know some of you guys always ask me what nail polish I use or what's on my nails. Most of the time, it's the KL Polish nail polish. She's, um, they're by Kathleen Lights. If you guys watch makeup videos, you know who I'm talking about. Kathleen Lights, she has like a huge YouTube channel and her nail polishes are perfect. They're great. They last like about a week on me and I, I like painting my own nails. I don't go to the nail salon anymore, only to get like pedicures every now and then, but I used to go to the nail salon and it just got expensive. It got really expensive, so I decided to just start doing them myself. And then I just buy the nail polishes and I find it very like therapeutic to just sit down, paint my nails, watch TV, and let me show you the colors I got. So I ordered three. And the first one I got is this one right here. I don't know if it'll focus. But this is the one that I was looking forward to the most. It's called Mindy. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a dark, like purple. I don't know, I'm really bad at describing colors, but this is the one that I was looking forward to the most because there was a color by OPI that I used to wear all the time and it looked very similar to this. I used to wear it when my husband and I were dating. And then I got this nude gray and this one is called Graham. Like all of her, all the names for her nail polishes have like a purpose. 
they're named after something. I'm, I'm not sure what this one's named after. I can't remember what she said it was named after. This one, I think it was like the Mindy pro Project, I think. And this one is just like a classic red, just because I feel like you can never go wrong with a classic red. I have a lot of red nail polishes, but I feel like red just like chips on me really, really fast. There we go. So I'm glad I was able to find this one and hopefully it lasts. This one is called Ace. Anyway, we're back home and still have the headache. I've already taken Tylenol and everything and had a little bit of, had a Coke just so that I can have some caffeine since I can't stand the taste of coffee. And that didn't help either, so we'll see. I'm going to go pick up my son from school in a bit and then come home and see what else we can get into. Hey guys, so I just woke up after uh, what was supposed to be like a 50 minute nap and I ended up waking up three hours later and I'm like in the worst mood ever and it's like eight o'clock so now I'm not going to sleep at all so it's bath time for my son I'm just giving him a bath right now and I didn't even edit vlogmas for today so I guess you guys are gonna get vlogmas tomorrow I'm sorry but today was very busy and just I fell asleep I completely fell asleep and I now have to do my son's laundry and give him a bath and put him to bed so I was feeling like really crappy today and then we were also talking to our family like my in-laws we were skyping with them and yeah so that kind of took up some time and then I'm just not gonna be able to edit I'm sorry I'm so sorry I have him in the bathroom right now he's in the bathtub are you taking a bubble bath huh? are you taking a bubble bath no no what kind of bath are you taking? Just a regular bath? A shower. Oh, you're taking a shower. Why? Huh? Why? Because it has to go to bed. Because it's bedtime, yeah, you're right. So, yeah, tomorrow I don't think we have anything planned and then Saturday I'm off for two more days and then I go on a four day trip. So, yeah, anyway, that, I'm gonna end Vlogmas today and i will see you guys tomorrow good night i'm gonna play some mario party got some jicama and some coconut lacroix